Hello, Cyphers. Me, and welcome back to another World Tanks console video. In this video, I'm going to be driving by Luva or Low, or whatever you want to call it, on Westfield Standard Battle, and I'm going to be mid tier. So there's going to be tier nines and tier eights in this battle. I think there's some tier sevens, but I don't think there's a lot. But anyway, I'm going to be going left. So why am I featuring this thing? Well, one, because it's deal of the week, and I thought you might want to see one of the deals of the week. The other deal of the week is the E25, which I'm hopefully trying to get a video for y'all to show y'all how that tank works and how it plays. Now, this replay, I feel like it shows you the how this tank is supposed to be played. So, Luva. I'm call it the Luva. Is a giant German premium tier 8 heavy tank. And it has no angles at the front. Well, it has angles, but it don't have a pipe nose. So, you're more like a KV4-ish. So, you're more than likely to size... You need to size scrape to make your armor effective. Also... Let me skip away from the armor right quick. What actually makes this tank really, really impressive? Well, let me tell you what the equipment I have on it first. I have a gun rammer, gunling drive, and coded optics. Why do I have coded optics? Well, that's the thing. This tank has 400 meters view range. So that means it can outspot even light tanks, the spotters of the uh, spotters of the battle, you can outspot them and outspot higher tier tanks like I'm doing right now. I'm right up to uh, almost a thousand and six of that. I spotted two of them. I spotted that light tank and somebody else. But anyway, going back to your armor, you have really good front fully you have really good frontal armor and some like decent side armor but your turn armor is where it is your turn armor is magnificent there's not really anything that can pin through your turret but if they have enough penetration they can go straight through your turret so what do i mean well this tank is not supposed to be like face home, you're supposed to be using your amazing gun depression or amazing gun elevation. I think the gun elevation is like 20 or 25 upwards, which that's insane. Honestly, it's insane. And right here, I am using my gun depression and my armor to effective. Using my gun depression. If you give me a second, I can figure out how much. I should have figured out how much gun depression this thing had. Before I even started this. Okay, so yeah. Basically using my gun depression and turret armor to fight these tier 9s and tier 8s. And outspot them too. So the gun depresses at 10 degrees. 10 degrees. Oh wait, the elevation was wrong. You have 38 degrees of gun depression. I mean... 38 degrees of gun elevation, so yeah, you can reach people right above you. As you can see, I'm not really aiming all that much. As you can see, I'm missing a lot. But I do snap a shot and let's go to D50. Also, I'm still spotting all these guys, and I'm also going to try to track the 705 to get more assist out of it. And I'm still getting assists from these guys. The view range of this tank is insane. 400 meters base view range is insane. Look, I'm almost at 1800. 1833. This is insane. And that's just assisted. And some traction damage. There's 2000. Almost 2000. Because it's track assist. And just look at this. 
track assist, assisted damage. This tank has really good spotting. It's like a hidden spot. It's like a spotter, but you didn't know it. I don't know. It's a frontline spot. I don't know what to call it. I think I'll probably figure out a name to call it at the vi as soon as I post this video. I don't know. But this thing is supposed to be hold down like, using your gun depression, turn armor, and out spotting your opponents. So we make 114,000 silver. We did 1,861 damage. Not impressive, but we did 2,303 assisted. That's impressive. So, yeah. If y'all liked this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, remember to subscribe to Facebook because why would you not? And peace out. See ya.